Uh, moving on to someone even more inspiring than Steve Price. Terry Kennedy has had some more bad luck than in the past couple of years than most people will face in a lifetime. But far from feeling sorry for himself, he's beaten the odds to become an Iron Man. Two and a half years ago, Terry Kennedy was overweight, unhealthy and depressed. But when his son Archie was born with a rare brain condition, he knew he had to start living a healthier life. I was sitting there at about 2am in the morning eating a frozen chicken roll and I caught a glimpse of myself in the, in the mirror. And I thought, here's this poor kid up there fighting for his life and I'm just eating myself to death. Terry threw himself into a weight loss program. I didn't think, well, I've got to lose 40 kilograms. Uh, for me, it was just about one thing, at one meal at a time. My next meal is going to be healthy. The next meal after that is going to be going to be even better. Then six months later, tragedy struck again when Terry's father was diagnosed with an aggressive form of prostate cancer. He'd run some marathons in his 50s, and I decided then that what better way to honour him and my sons than to run a marathon. The 33-year-old hadn't run even a kilometre before, but he began a rigorous training program and signed up to his first marathon. But just five days before the event, Terry suffered a massive stroke and heart attack that almost killed him. He woke up unable to see, speak or walk. I had to learn to walk all over again, which was a, a really weird feeling because the day before, I was ready to run a marathon and the day after I couldn't walk. With his usual determination, Terry practised walking for eight hours every day. The moment I could walk from the hospital bed to the toilet, which was about 10 steps, I got back in and signed up for the Melbourne Marathon in October last year. Eight weeks after he left hospital, he ran that race and in March this year, Terry completed his first Ironman. Whether it's an Ironman or a stroke or a heart attack or or cancer or, or um, you know, your son being born potentially critically ill, you can only focus on the things that are in your control. So let's take that next breath, take that next step. And now Terry Kennedy's story has won him an entry into one of the world's toughest races, the Hawaii's Kona Ironman World Championship. Terry, it's, it's incredible to think a single moment can change your life completely, but that's really what happened to you. Tell us a little more about it. Um, I was sitting there and unable to, uh, to walk, talk or see and it was at that moment that I realised that sort of I, I'd faced what I thought was uh, my final breath and I'd faced death as, as I guess you would have it and at that point I, I had an epiphany of sorts and realised that um, from then I knew what the limit was and I was con continuing to test that limit and, and know that I was never going to give up no matter what challenges we were faced with as a family. How did it feel when you crossed the finish line for the first time in your first Ironman? Um, it was unbelievable. It was, a, it was a great feeling. And just hearing you say that, Carrie, I've got goosebumps now thinking about it. And everyone that I've talked to that it's done an Ironman or it's such a supportive community that whether you come first or whether you come last, everyone is there uh, for you. And it doesn't matter what position you come, it's just, it's such a supportive community. And that's why I just urge everyone to get involved because the feeling that I had, I want everybody else to have. And that's a feeling of joy, of, of euphoria. And it's like nothing that, that, um, nothing that I've ever experienced before. And, and it becomes addictive and you want more and you want your family to experience that as well. So Terry, for those viewers who are inspired by your efforts, what is it that keeps you motivated? How do you keep inspired along the way? I use um, a combination of things, uh, apart from feed off the energy of, of, of people around me. Um, my wife uh, prepares photos for me during, during every one of my races and, and I don't know what they are. So it's, um, it's that dark period of the marathon. The marathon's 42 k's of after you've been biking for you know, 180 k's and I, I like to uh, look at photos that I don't know what they're going to be and they're sealed in envelopes and I open them at, in the, the dark parts of the race and it's, the, I actually look forward to that and even now thinking about Hawaii I'm actually looking forward to getting to 25, 30, 35 and 40 because I know for me that I wonder what's going to be in those photos and that keeps me going and keeps me focused and motivated to hit that uh, end goal and a lot of my training partners are now trying the same thing. The transformation you've made since that moment where you were eating your frozen chicken roll and in your undies looking at yourself in the mirror has been amazing. In fact, I'm planning on going home after the show, eating a chicken sandwich, <laughs> looking at myself in the mirror in my undies, just hoping I can make half the transformation you've made. <laughs>
Are you going to take a selfie? That's the. Uh, <laughs> that's all, all the rage. I'll, I'll, I'll be posting it online. <laughs> Fat selfies is, is what it's all about. <laughs> well, we will be rooting for you. The kind of Iron Man begins on, on October 12th. For more details about Terry's incredible journey, head to our website. Terry, thank you so much for speaking to us and good luck. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We'll be right back after this. Take care anyway.